Good morning, I'm John Perkins with your opening market minute. Just after 8.30 a.m. Central on Friday, live and feeder cattle futures are sharply higher. They're not only supported by yesterday's sharply higher box beef close, but primarily supports coming from news that China and the United States have reached a trade agreement that includes U.S. beef imports. China banned U.S. beef imports in late December of 2003 after a single case of BSE was found in Washington state. Hog futures are mixed, mostly firm. There's some spillover support from cattle today, but there are some concerns that the recent cash strength may have run out of steam, at least for right now. Grains and oil seeds are mixed, mostly weak. Corn and soybeans are watching weather. There was more rain overnight in parts of the Corn Belt, further delaying planting in those parts of the region, but forecasts for this weekend are generally warmer and drier. Corn and soybeans are mostly lower in the early going, getting pressure from expectations for improved planting conditions in much of the Midwest this weekend. They're also continuing to deal with supply pressure out of South America. There are some good demand issues, though. And wheat's mixed, mostly weak. The big bearish factor there continues to be the global supply that we've got right now. I'm John Perkins with your opening market minute.